Hey guys, we are in the basement. Today we're gonna do another John's Arcade on the road. Today we're gonna review a game that was released in 1983 by Atari and designed by, designed by Owen Rubin. The game is Major Havoc and it's an awesome Atari vector game. Actually a pretty rare game, only about 300 of them were made in dedicated form. The game is not here though, the game is up at Fun Spot, which is the world's largest arcade in Laconia, New Hampshire. And if you didn't see my review of Fun Spot, make sure you check that out. I released that last week. I did a all access tour. I walked over every inch of Fun Spot. So make sure you check out that review. It's really cool. Um, but anyway, we're gonna talk about Major Havoc today. Now, the Major Havoc that's at Fun Spot is actually a conversion. It's not a dedicated cabinet. And I kind of wanted to show you guys the dedicated one just so you kind of know what it looks like as compared to the conversion, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Uh, but here's the uh, flyer from Atari from 83. Um, and this is what the dedicated Major Havoc looked like. And I, I think it is like the coolest cabinet ever. Um, I just love this cab and this game. And you know what? If you guys know of a dedicated ma Major Havoc that's for sale, let me know, man, because I really want this game. I think it's so badass. Um, but anyway, so this is the dedicated cabinet. The one that's at Fun Spot is actually a conversion. It's a, a legit official conversion because Atari released this. It's a conversion kit that was designed to convert Tempest, Space Duel, Gravatar, and Black Widow, which are all vector games, into a Major Havoc. Um, and you can see here in the Atari flyer, this is a Tempest um, with the Major Havoc kit in it. And uh, this is exactly what Fun Spot has. And it's, it's cool, you know, it's not as cool as the dedicated, but there is one major flaw with the conversion, at least for the Tempest, um, is that the controls are actually different because uh, Major Havoc was designed with um, a special roller controller, which is shown right here. Let me show you a close-up here. Um, this is a photo. This is actually from Joe uh, in Chicago. Uh, this was his game, and I uh, found this on Google Images. But this is the uh, control panel of an original dedicated Major Havoc. And you can see, originally, it had a roller. This was the original controller that they intended. And it's a really neat controller, because in the game, you're basically just moving, um, everything is left and right. You're moving left and right only. And that is accomplished with this roller right here. And you're basically rolling left and rolling right. But, however, if you do a Tempest conversion, you don't have the roller. You're gonna use the same controller that is found on Tempest, um, but just with Major Havoc, and that's the spinner. Um, so I've actually never gotten to play with the roller, and it seems like it'd be a lot cooler to control, um, because the Tempest spinner, eh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right for something, uh, you know, when you're moving a character left and right. Anyway, so I want to point out that when we were playing the game, we couldn't get, because in the inter, in, during the intermission of uh, Major Havoc, and like the, uh, there is this little breakout game that you play in the bottom right. And, and admittedly, I haven't played a lot of Major Havoc because, it, well, it's a rare game and I just haven't had an opportunity to play a lot of it. And I, I didn't, we didn't know how to do the breakout game and, and actually what the purpose of it was. Um, I have since researched it and that breakout game in the lower right is actually, uh, it's a way to warp further into the game, uh, kind of like a little cheat. And you're basically trying to line up the numbers with the spinner and also play a breakout game at the same time. And if you get the combination right, you get warped into a later level. So anyway, I apologize because we, we're kind of dumbasses and we didn't really know how to make it work, but uh, it is a cool little feature. Anyway, let's get in the car and let's head over to Fun Spot. And today I'm very excited because I have Norm McDonald on the show. Now, uh, you know, some of those jokes, uh, what was it, like the one that I never, for some reason, sticks out in my mind. He's like, I get no respect, I look. All right, here we are at Fun Spot in Wares Beach, New Hampshire. And today we're going to talk about an Atari vector game that was released in 1983. And the game we're going to talk about is Major Havoc, which is a really rare game, especially the dedicated ones. The one that they have here is actually a conversion, um, was originally a Tempest and Atari made an official conversion kit for it, and that's what we're gonna be playing on. So over here is kind of a fun spot, Atari vector row. So why don't we go over here and let's talk about Major Havoc. There it is. All right, here we are. This is Atari's Major Havoc. Um, this is actually a conversion, which was an At official Atari conversion 
they actually re released a kit that you would use to install Major Havoc in a Tempest, which is what we have right here. Now the downfall of doing that though is because you're using the Tempest, Tempest Spinner. Um, the original game, the, the dedicated Major Havoc, has a roller. You know, it's it, yeah, it's it's like a tube that you're basically rolling left and right. So the controls here on the conversion is you're gonna use a spinner to move left and right. Um, there's a fire and a jump button and a shield. And this is a vector game. It's got a, a, a 6100 or maybe an Apple phone in here. I'm not really sure, but it's a color vector game. And uh, it's a very unique game. And it, it, here it is, 1983, Matt. Yeah. So a game came out in 83. Well, you're um, Galaga's like 81, okay. I believe. So this may have marked Galaga and yeah. see where you're Yeah, there, there's a bunch of different game modes which we'll show you. Um, the marquee here is like this kind of uh, screen printed, uh, I don't know what, what this is, like uh, PP or some kind of plastic acrylic, I don't know what it is. Lexan, whatever, something like that. But anyway, Matt, why don't, why don't you play a game and show us how Major Havoc plays. So the game's actually interesting here. It starts out, let me get on this side. And so you're Major Havoc, who's in his little ship, and you're going on this adventure, and it says to destroy fish wait, robots. But first, you're actually gonna play oh, wait, a, where did it go? a game of Breakout, which, it Matt, I guess you lost. Did you lose your ball? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't, maybe I missed it. Uh -huh. All right, so the first level is kind of like, uh, like Galaga, right? Did you die? Uh, yeah. Okay, let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. All right, so the first the first level is very much like Galaga. Um, you're moving left and right with the spinner, and you're firing. And you've got shields too, Matt. I don't know if you know uh, that. I didn't. Yeah, shield. All right, so now you need to land your ship. Because what you're doing is you're, you're invading like this little ship or mother ship, whatever the hell it is, and you got to blow it up. And now it turns into a platformer, which is really strange. And because you're in space, when you press the jump button, your guy kind of can infinitely jump and float around. And you're following the arrows to the core, and when you walk over the oxygen, because you can run out of oxygen, there's the core there, and now it says, get out. So Matt's got to land and get out of there before the thing blows up. And you see in the top right, it says reactor. So get to your ship and get out of there. And Matt has successfully blown up. To the kind of uh, intermission or whatever you want to call it, and Matt can play a game of Breakout here in the lower right, which is just so bizarre. Why do you think they did that? What happened? Didn't do it again. That's strange. I didn't touch it. So now it's just kind of rinse and repeat, but just getting a lot harder. There's definitely more of like a formation now with these guys compared to last time. More, way more Galaga-like. All right, so you're gonna land on that again. And he's got to land in between. Land on the white, basically. And now, I'd never pass this level. This is actually pretty hard. I guess just follow the arrows, but there's multiple ways you can go to get to the core. I think that's the wrong way, personally, but... You gotta avoid that... Oh, shit! Oh, you ran out of oxygen. Oh, no, you did You got 90 seconds left before you... Asphyxiate. All right. Ah. Asphyxiate. 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 Now do I start back <laughs> at the beginning? Yes. Yeah. And there's also a map at the top, Matt. I don't oh. know if you've noticed that. So you think I should go straight up here? Yeah, that's what I did before. You got to get past those guys, but there's a pattern. You got to hold it in, though. Grab the oxygen. I'm going down. Go up, go right. No, no, not down. Oh, maybe. All right. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Uh, and your guy like gets electrocuted. Which I didn't know how far it turns into a skeleton. Is that the last guy? Yeah. So is that it? That's it. Your game's over. So I mean, that's it. I mean, that's pretty much the game. It's just kind of rinse and repeat. So that is Atari's Major Havoc from 1983. All right, guys. Why don't we get out of here? <laughs> You know, it's kind of weird walking around with a camera in a public place and talking to it. <laughs> People think I'm kind of weird. But anyway, guys, there you have it. That was Atari's Major Havoc. Why don't we get in the car and go back to John's arcade? It's pretty kind of easy to write for something. Like I said, I know some sitcoms, which I don't know. 
have not spoken to Norm hardly at all. All right, there you have it. That was my Major Havoc uh, review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And by the way, if you if you want to see more about Fun Spot, you should definitely check out my Fun Spot walkthrough video review. I did almost a half hour review of Fun Spot. I walked through every inch of that place. So check out that video in my feed. And guys, hey, I want to thank you for watching my little channel every week. I want to thank you for subscribing. Um, if you've never subscribed, now would be a great time to click on that subscribe button. Um, I do release new videos every Sunday and sometimes in between. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the vids. And of course, I do a podcast, a weekly podcast called Video Game Outsiders at VideoGameOutsiders.com. We broadcast live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on the All Games Radio Network at AllGames.com. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, and bye.